Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. So Todd, can I get your immediate thoughts following tonight's dramatic 4-3 victory over the MK Lightning? Yeah, well, <laughs> I think um, obviously it was nice to have uh, a few of our regular bodies in the lineup. Um, although you could tell they looked a little rusty and, um, you, you know, the lines were had been jumbled up to they hadn't had much training with. But, um, you know, playing against that uh, the system that Milton Keynes play against, it can look um, like there's not a lot going on. And I think that it can, it can, it can kill a game and that's the, that's the intention of sometimes of the 1-3-1. But um, you know what, uh, a night where we weren't at our best at times, and other times um, we had plenty of chances to finish things off. Um, we, you know, the, the finishing touches weren't there, but we found a way to win tonight. Jordan Buesa picked up a goal tonight and man of the match. It's great to see young Brits continuing to progress this year at, at the Flyers. Well, I think the traction of Jordan Buesa, one being um, that you can, you can see that he leaves it all out there. Um, and, and the crowd really associates with the work ethic that, that he brings to the team. Um, Jordan's been a, a fantastic pickup for this season and um, you know he got pushed down the lineup but when I have everybody back into the lineup you know for good portions of that game we rolled four lines for one of the first times this season um, and you know it, it absolutely gave guys a much needed break. Um, although it breaks up the flow of the game that we're accustomed to, um, I, I was certainly happy to see all the forwards get out there tonight. How do we make sure that moving forward now that we're into 2019 that we maintain the same sort of performance and, and continue to put on points right the way up to the end of the season now? Well, I mean, I think that my players would probably uh, certainly tell you the same thing, that that probably wasn't our best performance tonight. Although, as I mentioned, we certainly had, I think we had four or five two-on-ones. Um, we would expect uh, us to bury on a couple more of those. Um, but, you, you know, this new year, I told those guys, I tried to, to it's important that um, the crowd bring their frustrations on to me. Um, I'm the one in charge of these guys. So we put the systems in place. Um, we put this team together. Um, I want those guys to be relaxed and go out there and play. Um, and you know what? I know they're capable of good things. Um, they just have a little low on confidence uh, at times, and, and they just have to realize as a group that good things happen when they work hard. When they go out there and work hard, and they don't worry about the outcome or the result, um, we're generally fine. And I think that's really what we need to do in this second half of the season. Um, you know, for, for whatever reason, it's been viewed as not a successful half of the first season, whereas it really has been um, by our standards. If you look at the level of competition that we face week in, week out. Um, but, you know, I think part of that is, is down to the, to the fact that we haven't performed well in conference, which is against your local rivals. Um, you're, you're, you're often judged on that. So the second half of the season, um, obviously, we're going to want to... Uh, make inroads and playing better against our, 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 the teams close to us. But other than that, um, we, we, need, we need to just continue playing good, solid, uh, consistent hockey. Thank you very much, Todd. Thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.